Laura Ingram was speaking about ISIS on her radio show with a caller, and she repeated the same dumb, bigoted point that conservatives always make every time that there's Muslim terrorism. And that point is, well, why are the, aren't the moderate Muslims condemning the extreme Muslims and the terrorists? So let's listen, and then I'll give you the debate-ending facts. Even the, patri the Christian patriarch, the Chaldean patriarch of Baghdad, is pleading for military assistance, for weapons. You know that it's uh, bad when yeah. the Christian leaders are, are begging for it because they know that they will be wiped out. They will be killed. They will all be shot in the face yeah. if they're not um, rescued. Yeah. And it would be nice if we heard, we heard from more in the Muslim world uh, coming out and uh, condemning what, uh, the Islamic State is doing. You're not hearing it enough of those voices, if it any, if if any. I mean, where are those well, people? Uh, You're not hearing enough of those voices, if any, if any. Why are there no moderate Muslims speaking out against Muslim violence? Quote, Many Islamic leaders have strongly denounced ISIS, and thousands more Muslims have gathered to promote messages of peace. Iyad Amin Mandani, the Secretary General for the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, which represents 1.4 billion Muslims in 57 countries around the world, condemned ISIS's threat against Christians in Iraq, saying the, quote, forced deportation under the threat of execution is a crime that cannot be tolerated. In an interview with Reuters, Turkey's highest-ranking cleric, Mehmet Gormez, similarly decried ISIS's threat against Christians and argued that the statements were damaging to the Muslim community. Quote, Islamic scholars need to focus on this because an inability to peacefully sustain other faiths and cultures heralds the collapse of a civilization. In a July 7th statement, the Council on American-Islamic Relations, or CARE as it's called, which is the main moderate Muslim group in the United States, called ISIS's actions, quote, un-Islamic and morally repugnant. Care noted that the group's, quote, human rights abuses on the ground are well documented and called on other Muslim community leaders to speak out against the violence. The Muslim Council of Great Britain's Shuja Shafi also said, quote, violence has no place in religion. Violence has no religion. It is prohibited for people to present themselves for destruction. Tell me again, Laura Ingram, about how moderate Muslims aren't speaking out against ISIS. I can't hear you. I can't hear you over your wrongness. No, but this this gets under my skin more than you can imagine. Because she didn't bother to do any research. You do know that ISIS is not only killing Christians and Yazidis, right? You do know they are killing Muslims. ISIS wants to kill all the Shiites in the world. They're Sunnis. They're Sunni militants and terrorists and jihadists. They want to kill all the Shiites. They also want to kill the Kurds. They also want to kill moderate Sunnis. Did you know, as of today, the FSA, the Free Syrian Army in Syria, who are fighting uh, against Assad, they're the secular rebels, right? They're still, uh, most of them are still, you know, Muslim, but they're just not, they don't want to establish a caliphate. They want a, a democracy, a government with a democracy, even though they're Muslim, right? They're getting crucified by ISIS. ISIS is killing Sunni Muslims. So the idea that it's like, well, no Muslims are uh, saying that ISIS is bad, Virtually the entire Muslim world, except ISIS, says ISIS is bad. Even fucking Al-Qaeda has said ISIS goes too far because they killed too many innocent Muslim women and children. To say that Laura Ingram does not know the facts and that she's talking out of her ass is the biggest understatement in the world. This is what all conservatives say whenever there's any Muslim terrorism in the world. Why don't all the Muslims come out, moderate Muslims, just say, we, we denounce this, they can't do it. Why? Because who knows, maybe they don't really denounce it. Ooh. That's the implication. It's, it's, what they're saying is the default position of these savage Muslims is that there are no moderates and they're all guilty because they all kind of agree with ISIS. And nothing could be further from the truth. And also, let me add, in conclusion, uh, I never hear anybody say, whenever there's an abortion clinic bombing, which happens all the time in the United States, I never hear anybody say, you know, Joel Osteen hasn't uh, come out and, and denounced the abortion clinic bombing. So is he with them? I don't know. He might have sympathies for them because he didn't denounce it.